So here we need to work out 160 divided by 4. We know that to divide we can count up in steps of the divisor until we get to the dividend. But it would take us a long time to count up in steps of 4 until we reached 160. So instead, let's count up in steps of 10 times 4, so in steps of 40. 10 fours are 40. Then, if we count on another 10 fours, we have another 40, so that takes us to 80. Another 10 fours takes us to 120. And then another 10 fours takes us to our dividend, takes us to 160. So altogether, we counted on 10 steps of 4, 4 times. So that's 40 steps of 4. So our answer is 40. And we can see that if we know that 16 divided by 4 is 4, then 16 tens divided by 4 is 4 tens. So 160 divided by 4 is 40. We could also think of 160 divided by 4 as sharing 106 tens, so that's 160, between four groups. But we can't share out our 100, because when we divide by sharing, we need the same amount in each group. So instead, we need to break up our 100 into 10 tens. That now gives us 16 tens altogether. And we can see that when we share out those 16 tens, when we share out 160, we have 4 tens in each group. So 160 divided by 4 is 40. So what is 320 divided by 4? Well, 10 times 4 is 40, so let's count up in steps of 10 times 4, in steps of 40. We have 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, and 320. So we counted 8 steps of 10 times 4, and because 8 tens is 80, we know that 320 divided by 4 is 80. And again, we can see that if we know that 32 divided by 4 is 8, then 320, that's 32 tens, divided by 4 is 8 tens. If we were sharing 32 tens into groups of 4, we would have 8 tens in each group. So 320 divided by 4 is 80.